Hey everyone, I couldn't think of a better way to do this video than a Zoom call. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this new app called App Switcher, and I'm gonna share my screen right now so you can get a taste for what it is. Uh, and yeah, this is a very basic app, and I'm only showing it off today because it's fulfilling a very specific purpose, and you may enjoy it. It may be exactly what you're looking for. So uh, right now I'm showing my screen and I can see Safari is open with App Switcher's website up. Uh, maybe I wanna go to Obsidian and ooh, I actually wanted to kind of get rid of this. So let me hide this and now I've got Obsidian up. Uh, let me bring up Sketch and then, oh yeah, um, let's go ahead and go back to Safari and oh God, Sketch is still there. So let me hide it. And so this isn't a, isn't a horrible problem, but it's definitely a thing that I run into when I'm doing screen shares where it is kind of annoying that you have to uh, kind of do window management while you're working. You just kind of want to click on a thing and see that and show people that. Um, and so this is what App Switcher tries to solve. So I'm going to go ahead and launch App Switcher. So I launched it and it looks like nothing's changed, right? My screen looks exactly the same. But now if I want to go to Obsidian, it hides uh, Safari for me. If I want to bring up Sketch, uh, that's there. Let's say I want to bring up Notion. Okay, that's gone. Tweetbot. I'm just going to bounce between these apps. I can switch any way I want. It's going to work exactly the same. And so, yeah, uh, this is how it works. And it basically makes it so that only one app is on screen at a time. Now, there is one problem with this app that's kind of a bad problem, actually. Uh, and so that is that there's no app icon showing it running. Uh, it's not in my menu bar anywhere. I do have Bartender hiding a few things, but like, it's not here. <laughs> so I actually couldn't figure out how to quit it. And please let me know in the comments if this is just me being dumb, but I cannot for the life of me. It's not in the doc. It's not over here. Um, what I had to do was actually go to the activity monitor uh, and then search for app switcher. And then this will come up here in a second. And here I actually had to quit it as well. I don't have to force quit or anything, but I did have to quit the app here. It should disappear. It really should disappear. There it goes. Now it's gone. And now I kind of have the same behavior like normal. So the uh, computer is just going to act the same way as it normally does. So that is App Switcher. Uh, that is literally all it does. I showed you everything it does. Uh, <laughs> basically, it just hides everything else uh, when you go into an app so that you're only looking at one thing at a time. If this works for you, if this is useful to you, you already know it. And you can go ahead and go to the Mac App Store to get it. I believe it's $2.99. I don't know if I'm going to get much value out of it, uh, but hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. And if it works for you, it'll work for you. And that's great. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything, but that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the Zoom call now. Bye-bye.